Hey guys, and welcome back to Legends of Eidolon, and today we're going to be doing some dungeon progress, but first, uh, as you can see here, I'm about to craft something, and this is probably ill-advised, but, uh, you know, it was one of those things where I had the materials, and, yeah, I crafted a diabolical abdomen, and probably shouldn't have done it because the reality is, you know, the thing to make, I think, is going to be troll armor, so... Probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever, I went ahead and did it. The stuff I do after this is going to be troll gear. At the time, I honestly didn't realize that troll gear was available. I'd kind of forgotten, and uh, now I need to go and start crafting that instead. But whatever, I already made this, so we're going to keep it. However, it does kind of suck that I already sunk the uh, salt into it, because the salt is time-consuming to acquire. So more pet stuff here a little bit i'm trying to get another uh, upgrade here I had some eggs to work with and the platinum one ended up paying off and we got the next pet in world four and that is a flying worm so each time it's going to get longer and longer and then yeah i'll probably just refill the eggs and do some breedable stuff and then i'll save up again and do the rare round of eggs so on to some dungeon stuff here i was i saw that video that griffy bit had posted um talking about the bubonic conjurer for dungeons and i was like well i hadn't really spent that much time in dungeons recently and i hadn't even cleared fourth frog i probably could have i just i don't know i got bored with it or something so i watched that video and then i was like why don't i go and clear fourth frog <laughs> so i was uh practicing how to do this and honestly it wasn't that hard to use rng voucher and this was so much easier in fact to do and so much more successful than uh running gray grumblow at least on the barbarian for me i was like this is like way better so I think I'm going to be progressing a lot more probably in dungeons now, although I already have a lot of the stuff that I want, but it's really trying to farm the purple credits for the uh, black opals. That's really the main thing that I'm still kind of going for with dungeons. Other than that, there isn't a whole lot I could... I want to max out like the stats and stuff, but that's not too far away probably. So I had some good runs here. Um, you could see on on this one, I mean, man, that one was crazy though. This was, a, I took the Maestro out and I got like a gazillion RNG vouchers, got it up to like 9,000 damage, as you could see there. And that was absolutely wild. But what happened was I forgot to assign um, my talents. So I was clearing it so slowly. I like one hit third frog and then I couldn't I couldn't clear fast enough to actually get to the final boss even though I had 9000 damage. So yeah, always remember to assign your talents. Um I had it on like some build for sitting in the lab basically was what happened. So there's another one here and uh did I finally clear the whole thing? It took me a while to finally be able to actually clear the whole thing. And I still can't do it super consistently. Because the problem is sometimes you don't get the RNG voucher. So here's the stats that I currently have. I think I spent too many blue credits on weapon upgrades. Because I was kind of realizing that with this particular method. Like using the bubo like you really don't like with rng voucher you really don't even need the weapon upgrades that much like i i don't even have to upgrade beyond like the wooden stick that i'm holding and i can still clear all the stuff if i get enough rng vouchers so it kind of makes the stuff i invested into weapon upgrades especially like the weapon upgrade chance feel a little funny like However, I, there's something I still don't understand about the weapon weapon upgrades that I need to uh, look into. Because, like, I buy new weapons, but 
some rounds I'll only get like the wooden sticks. I don't fully understand why if it's like you have to invest a certain amount of money to have a chance at the better weapons because like I've never gotten one of the best weapons that I have a chance for like right off the bat. Um, so there's something in the mechanics there I'm not fully understanding. I feel like it's like you have to spend a certain amount to or you have to wait a certain amount of time in the match to be able to get the higher tiered weapons because I just never seem to get them right away for whatever reason. I always start off with a wooden stick. There's some name for it. I can't remember what it is. But yeah, I was having very good luck thanks to uh, Griffey Bits boobo video there uh very consistent and yeah there, there was the achievement for taking down fourth frog and again i've almost got a couple of these stats maxed out pretty close to maxing total damage and uh maxing uh mp out then i'd probably do drop rarity then crit chance Block chance is kind of nice for the final fourth frog phase, but um, not super necessary. As you can see, I put a lot of money into like drop rate for weapons. I'm not sure if that was really good in the end or not. And you can see I'm also missing some of the uh, RNG items. I, I worked to get a few of them like the ice pick, but unfortunately I'm still missing sugar rush because I have a stack of like 11 million oak logs. And I can't fit them all in my inventory to get to a stack of 1500. I'm getting closer because I'm upgrading my material pouches. Eventually, I will be will be able to do it, but it's pretty frustrating. So, yeah. So, uh, another upgrade here, which you may not have been expecting. Surprise! Or maybe it'll be in the thumbnail. I don't know. But we have twisted scales. And that is my first piece of troll gear. And I finally went and unlocked that. And I realized, hey, I was actually pretty close to being able to craft the twisted scales. So, yeah, now we're on a quest to try and get all of the black opal rings and all of troll gear on all my characters, as well as starfire weapons and tools before world five. So that's probably going to be... One of the main things I'll be doing is trying to get everything up to that tier. Or most of it. I don't know about the the headgear, because like the cheese or helm still has a very useful 15% damage bonus. I'll have to look on Discord to try and figure out like what the meta is in terms of if people think that helmet is still worth it or if the raw stats outweigh it. As you can see here, upgraded my materials bag, 66k materials. That's only with the world four bonus. Otherwise, it drops back down to like 40-something thousand. But still, that's a huge upgrade for me. So I'll be doing that. I think it was the Luster tier I upgraded to. So I'll be doing that for the other characters as well. And uh, just another run here. This might have been the one where I got a full clear finally, I think. It took me a while. And again, I can't do it consistently every time. But I've gotten pretty good at consistently getting the fourth frog to spawn and uh yeah the the trick seemed to be to just take a couple liars craps as griffey said however there was one time i accidentally took too many liars craps and then what happened was i had five hp because i was spamming rng voucher and i was picking up everything without looking at what it was and I took too many of the dice, and then I had 5 HP, and I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't fight the things to get 4th Rog to spawn without dying non-stop. <laughs> so, yeah, you gotta be careful. Um, but all in all, yeah, really solid, uh, dungeon progress here, and now I should be able to finally farm out the opals. And hopefully get those across all my characters. That's going to be an objective. Get the rest of the cheese or scarves. Get all troll armor across all my characters. And all starfire weapons and tools. And then maybe we'll be close to ready for world 5. And all the material pouches as well. So, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.